sporting arenas in the world. And this afternoon, Wembley Stadium will host the biggest crowd in Rugby World Cup history as champions New Zealand take on Argentina. It has been a glorious day in London. Bright sunshine and warm temperatures that are just starting to cool off in the late afternoon. And as always at Wembley, a pristine playing surface. Tony Johnson welcoming you to our coverage of this Pool C encounter for the first appearance of the 2011 champions, bringing a large contingent of black-clad supporters with them. And it's a great pleasure to welcome alongside me a World Cup winner with South Africa, Joel Stransky. Joel, always that extra bit of anticipation when the All Blacks enter the tournament. Absolutely. And as defending champions in particular, they've been the form team for the last four or so years. And uh, they'll certainly be looking to continue. Uh, that man there, Steve Anson, has done a brilliant job in terms of getting this team ready for what promises to be an incredible tournament. He's gone for his strongest possible lineup, too. Props Tony Woodcock and Owen Franks, almost 200 caps between them. Dynamic hooker Dane Coles in the number two jersey. Sam Whitelock returns after a key role in the 2011 tournament, and he'll part the last year's Rugby World Player of the Year, Brody Retallick, in the New Zealand engine room. It's the same all-black loose forward trio that played the final in Auckland four years ago. Reid Kano and captain Richie McCaw starting his fourth World Cup tournament. The key to New Zealand's attacking game is the halfback pairing of Aaron Smith and Test Rugby's highest point scorer Dan Carter, who starts his fourth World Cup campaign as well. No centre combination has played more Test matches together than Ma'a Nonu and Conrad Smith. Nonu today playing as 98th international, and it may be the most capped rugby team in history, but there is room for a relative newcomer in winger Nehi Milner Scudder, who forms the back three with Julian Savia and fullback Ben Smith. Eight players back from the last World Cup final, so there is plenty of hardened experience, Joel, in this All Black side. Yeah, very much so. It's, a, it's an ageing team as well, just looking at the way they line up on the field there. And all Hurricanes, 12, 13, 11 and 14. Great attacking option at the back in Ben Smith and halfbacks that can certainly con control Matt as well. That man is exactly that. 1,516 test points. The only man to have passed the 1,500 points in test rugby. And uh, he will want to crown off his career with a win at Rugby World Cup. Kieran Reid, the loping Kieran Reid, finds himself in the right place at the right time more often than not. And Ma Nani will look to give this team some real go forward in the midfield. Always a handful, always Indeed. difficult to bring to ground. And if he does get the ball out wide, look out for this man, Ehem on the scudder. Twinkle feet, fleet of foot, great pace, and the attacking force at the back. Will be a little dependent, though, on the ball they get. Tony Woodcock, the loose head prop, 115 caps. Will want to anchor that scrum and give a good foundation for the backs. Well, the Pumas fans know that their team has never beaten the All Blacks, but they take great heart from a win over the Springboks in August. And really, Joel, these guys are at full strength for the first time this year for this game. Yeah, and it's difficult to know what their full strength has been in the past. They won in Durban against the South African team with a different team they played the next week and lost at home. Certainly great depth in the squad and certainly a team that are growing in stature and confidence. Well, the front row always a great strength. Nahuel Tetez Chaparro has won the battle for tight head prop along with world-class loose head Marcos Ajerza. Skipper Agustin Crevy is the hooker. A young lock in combination. The chief line-out man is Thomas Lavanini at just 22 and Guido Petty at 20. The youngest man to play for the Pumas in 24 years. A world-class player in Juan Martin Fernandez lobby heads the loose trio along with experienced number eight Leonardo Senatore and the young bruiser Pablo Matera in six. Thomas Cubelli gets the nod at scrum half ahead of Martin Landajo. Outside him, Nico Sanchez forms a, a dual playmaker combination with the star of the 2007 tournament Juan Martin Hernandez. Hernandez and Marcelo Bosch bringing a world of experience in their midfield roles. And rounding out the Pumas' back line, a back three with plenty of attacking skill. Wingers Santiago Cordero and Juan Imoff, and fullback Joaquin Tukalet. Without question, it's the strongest team Argentina has fielded this year, passionately led by their captain, Agustin Crevy. Joel, again, a very experienced core of players. And that's exactly what Torcada has tried to achieve. Experience linked to some exuberance of youth. Captain by this man, 12 caps as captain now, and a real handful in the front of the, this pack of forwards, not just at the scrum and set face time, but in the loose. In the loose, this man will be tested a little bit, not an out-and-out -out fetcher, but certainly a man capable of carrying the ball, experienced, always in the right place at the right time. And Tony, you touched on this fella, quite possibly the best loose head prop in the world now. Marcos Ajaza 
and uh, well, big battle in the front row expected this afternoon. Warren Imhoff scored a hat trick against South Africa in Durban a few weeks ago in uh, in a major upset, not as big as the upset last night, but certainly an out and out finisher. And Marcello Bosch capable of kicking those long range goal, long range goals. Any opportunity for points will be taken. It'll be just the third meeting of these teams at Rugby World Cup. The All Blacks have won the last two, and the toss now in the hands of referee Wayne Barnes. We'll kick off. We'll kick off. Your choice of ends. Yes, later. Uh, in ten minutes, you've got okay. to tell us by. Okay. No Good luck. Way. Enjoy. Well, so Richie McCaw offering Argentina the choice of ends. Argentina with a 50-50 record in World Cups, only qualified for the knockout phase once. The All Blacks, of course, having won the tournament twice, led by their skipper, Richie McCaw, 142 international caps. The longevity of the man, quite outstanding. Always amongst the first of the All Black players out onto the field, Nico Sanchez, a big role for him. Such a talented playmaker. Welcome everyone to Wembley Stadium. Now just getting a feel of the stadium. In front of a crowd expected to be around 90,000 for this match. Final moments in the dressing room for the All Blacks. Strong bonds have been forged amongst these players over the years. Argentina will today attempt to make history, and already we've seen history made at this World Cup. Not far away now from kickoff at Wembley. You told him to come up. Let's go, one minute. One minute. Oh, and those final moments, nerve-wracking moments for both teams. And this an all-Southern Hemisphere clash. Argentina have not beaten New Zealand. And, uh, well, they'll have seen South Africa come unstuck last night. They'll be thinking that if it's possible for Japan to beat South Africa, there's nothing stopping them from causing another upset this afternoon. standing for the national anthems of New Zealand and first Argentina accompanied by the Fulham and Hammersmith Choral Society.
pride and passion etched into the faces of the players. And now for the first time in Rugby World Cup 2015, the stadium will fill with a different kind of noise as the All Blacks perform their traditional challenge, the Haka. got the crowd fired up kick off just moments away today's match referee is Wayne Barnes his assistants are JP Doyle and Amber Scott so one last look at the, the lineups New Zealand led by Richie George McCaw totaling 1,013 test caps between them three Centurions and McCaw Carter and Woodcock and another on the bench and Kevin Mialamu who led Kamate the traditional haka Argentina call on the experience of Leguizamon and the hot-stepping winger Gonzalez Amorosino on their reserve bench. But the run on 15 led by Agustin Trevi. Plenty of depth for both sides. Both teams with players who can come on and make a difference. Well, Wayne Barnes looks like he can't wait to get the game underway. The deafening noise in the stadium. Nerves, excitement, anticipation. These players have been waiting a long time for this moment. Thanks, mate. Wayne Barnes, one of the world's elite referees. And like everyone else here, I think he's just having a few problems hearing himself think. Yeah, not easy. A proper raucous in the stadium. Wonderful atmosphere. So it will be the All Blacks to kick off their defence of the Rugby World Cup crown that they won four years ago. And uh, the kick only just going. The 10 has been knocked through by Kieran Reid. And so Argentina, well, they're going to get first use of the Hold. football just inside their own half. Using their Manage captain to try and work the ball out in the midfield. And suddenly, after all the raucous noise before the match, there's a Hold. silence Hold. coming almost over the crowd as the kick goes high for Marcelo Bosch to chase. And he took it easily. And the kick ahead into the old black 22. Nehi Milner scattered going back and has to scramble it away to touch in the end. He's done very well, but the Pumas have taken it quickly. Looking to spread the ball early on. Here's Hernandez. Looking to drive the All Blacks back towards their own goal line. And this is a good start for the Pumas, Joel Stransky. Fantastic start from the Pumas. Really good kickoff from Dan Carter. Knocked on by Reed, and since then, Not the now. Pumas have controlled the ball. Very keen to play quickly at line-out time. Threw Take it in, and the, gap, the little... Ex well, the experience and very educated boots of Hernandez chasing the All Blacks into deep into their own territory. Open. The All Blacks have called for a four-man line-out, and Whitelock obliges. And they go to the left boot of Dan Carter for the clearance. 
card and making sure he puts it well out too so they can't take the quick throw. Yeah, and I think the other thing Dan Carter will be thinking about, he will have kicked in the stadium maybe uh, yesterday or the day before, but the angle's a little different in the stadium. Quite a big gap between the touchline and where the, the crowd is sitting and maybe the angle there for him not quite spot on, not gaining enough territory, certainly not as much as he would have liked. Agustin okay, backwards off blue. with the throw, it was knocked down by Fernandez Lobet. Still in, no, no. And so the Pumas have it. And it's Guido Petty, the young lock. No, he went to the go. side now of it, no obstruction. Wrestling him to the ground is Tony Woodcock. Kieran Reid getting over that, winning the penalty. Well, that was just a little bit too easy there for the all-black number yep. eight. And holding on. Argentina not really protecting nice the ball carrier. A little pick and go around the fringe there. Judge, and, uh, please. The question around obstructive running came from the Kiwis. Kieran Reid's got those real long arms, tall fella and long reach. And got over and hands on the ball, winning the penalty and some good relief for New Zealand. Just keep those guts. No, right. Kieran That's Reed, a middle one of the big questions okay, is no, where I, are the All Blacks going to use him on attack, out wide or in close, but here he is on defence. Perfectly placed over the ball. And the All Blacks now with the chance to attack. And again, the target is Whitelock. Flat ball to Dan Carter. On to Nonu. First touch for him in Rugby World Cup 2015. And Julian Savia coming in from the wing. Hunting work. Reed takes it to the 22. The All Blacks drive over it and leave it for Smith. Conrad Smith now. Tackle legal. And on the ground Back by feet. Bosch is opposite number. And now Whitelock carrying inside the 22. Vantage. Wayne Barnes has the arm out advantage to the All Blacks. Roll They'll clear. Have a look and see if they can cash in. Quick hands and away to Nehi Milner Scudder. In fact, it was Carter ranging out wide. Roll clear. But they'll come please. back in field. Pull down. And here Pull down. is an opportunity for the All Blacks to put first points on the board here at Wembley. Certainly no underestimating the opponents this afternoon. Dan Carter is going to have a shot at goal. Quite a patient uh, build-up this one from the All clear. Blacks. Couple of one-off runners, starting with Sam Whitelock, and then the little arms over once the ruck had formed and the penalty advantage awarded by referee Wayne Bonds. Interesting to see Dan Carter way out on the outside, receiving the ball in the wing position, but great versatility in this New Zealand back line. Well, that is a magnificent tally for someone who hasn't always been the number one goal kicker. Early in his career, Dan Carter wasn't always the designated kicker. He averages 14 points a test match, and this just to the right of the posts. Good opportunity for him to open his account at this tournament. perfectly by Dan Carter. Good start for New Zealand. Nice, respectful response from the crowd too. That is really good to see. It's a, it's a rugby response here in the UK, isn't it? Now here's the restart. It's Nonu calling for it. And so the All Blacks will have this just inside Come the run. 22. Argentina coming in looking for the counter run. But no, well, third penalty. Against them. He's just staying around the legs and he's calling and ball not to come time. away Freely, clearly. The Roll captain clear. is not happy 13. here. You could argue that Owen Franks was taking up space there and denying them access to the ball. Well, it's a uh, discipline that's going to have to be important here for 13. the Argentinians. Roll clear. Don't stay on there. Roll clear as well. Bosch is being singled out. Hold. So Dane Coles. So far, the target has been Whitelock. Play That's on. gone over the back, but Carter has it. Now Nonu swings a nice pass wide to Ben Smith. The kick for the corner. Milner Scudder racing after it. He's very quick, but getting back to it is Joaquin Tukulit. And he's carried that back. It'll be a five-metre scrum to New Zealand. Very clever kick over the top. 
Okay. Took a that had to come up a little bit flat to get in the line. The ball over the back of the line out, picked up by Carter. Just meant there was no chance for the Argentinian defence to shift and get out wide there. A little bit of space found, and well, he scampered back well did Tukalet to ground it. But Argentina, they've just conceded three of their back on their goal line. New Zealand ball, they're under enormous pressure. Good height. Good height. First scrum. Making nearly seven minutes. They haven't really seen any mistakes so far in the game. Magnificent conditions and binds. Wide open spaces at this famous ground. Both of these teams are really going to enjoy playing here. Stand up. Yeah. Yeah. The Argentina yeah. scrum renowned for its yeah. force and its strength. Okay, and just, just listen. Arguably the best we need a bigger gap, please. Yeah. Not engage. I need you just to come up a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Yeah, just come off the gap a little. Off to the mark. The man will be looking to apply some pressure. No fully and, uh, engage. Put Owen Franks under a little bit of pressure. Make life a little difficult for Kieran Reid and Aaron Smith behind the scrum. Good height. This is the Hit other up. side. This is Nahuel. Tetas Chaparro is up against the veteran Tony Woodcock. Bind. Free kick and New Zealand thinking about the fully bind. Quick tap. You're fully engaged. Number one and number two. Well, instead, they're going to go for another scrum. Yep. Repeat offence would of course mean a penalty. Extended. Gentlemen, stay on your heels. Don't lean in. Just remember the next one a is a penalty. A lot of Pumas fans in the ground here and just starting I'll make to sure signal that they their displeasure. The, the, the way the penalties and free kicks are going against their team early. Crouch. So a standard set up for New Zealand. Milner Scudder away to the right. Set. Wayne Smith in the line outside. Conrad Smith on the left. Shot from the Pumas, but Aaron Smith takes it to the blind side. He's tackled by Pablo Matera, but the All Blacks are just four metres from the line. Whitelock. They come quickly at him. And again, Wayne Barnes signalling advantage to New Zealand. McCaw has it. Reid fighting his way forward. Waiting for it now, Franks. In fact, it goes beyond him to Carter. Conrad Smith, Nonu wrapping around quickly on Milner. has got it through the legs from Ben Smith. And here's Savia. He's lost a boot. But he's made ground. Now Kano. No. Savia scurrying back to pick up his boot. Again, the referee's playing advantage. He's taking a quick tap here. It's going to be a yellow card. Matera is going to the bin. But it's all going wrong early for Argentina. Just on the five. Go for goal. Yeah, yeah, of course. Wayne Barnes yeah. being uh, well, the Let me just tell you what I'm seeing. Yeah. Right yeah. There's two or three penalties that are running away or going the wrong okay. side, including you over there. Okay. okay. But that one, okay. just listen to me. If you fall that side, you run the risk of being penalised. So don't fall that side, fall your side. This penalty and the yellow card is for the player tackling a player after he's run one metre cynical play. So we've got to move away from the tackle, please. Well, I will talk to you in a minute. Lecture. Let's take the penalty and not come and talk Trump to you. Wine Barnes, Aaron right, Smith, not for me. Good scrummage by you. Tap and go, speed up play, nippy little scrum off, and trying to get going. Tackled within one meter of tapping the ball, which is the reason for the yellow card. Nice, nice scrum. So it will be 15 against 14 for the next 10 minutes. New Zealand opting to take the kick at goal now. Just falling. But alongside. you could sense they were just trying to keep the Pumas constantly backpedaling. Got the desired result. This time Carter, just to the left of the posts, strikes it effortlessly, and the All Blacks lead by six that points last to nil. Was spot on. Right, you spoke about the respectful crowd, the way they stayed silent yep. for Dan Carter on both kicks. Respect for the Argentinians as New Zealand, with the man up, chose to kick for goal. Some brilliant slick handling, trying to free up Sevilla on the outside. Ran right out of his boot there in his efforts to step inside. Well, the Pumas have taken a quick restart and they will force a line out six metres from the all-black goal line. Gaps. Again, 
Hildak shortening up the line out. Reed takes it quickly and they fire it away to Brody Retallick, the big lock. Tackle though, Lean away. Trying to hold him up, but he's got great strength. Back it goes to Carter. Forwards, wait, please. And the yep, kick away yep. into touch. Good exit from the All Blacks from the line out close to their own goal line. Yeah, very keen off the top ball. You don't often see teams clearing it off the top, but close to the line. Quick ball, good strong carry from Brady Retallick. A little bit of go forward. Please, Black. And Dan Carter with all that experience, Eight. pinpoint Stay accuracy down. in terms Eight of Black. the clearance. Thank you. And Creevy took over as skipper last year with the throw. They've got it. And uh, taking it up was Fernandez, uh, Hernandez, I beg your pardon. Now, taken on by the forwards. Just hold. Now, Fernandez lob it. All that's quickly out off the defensive line. Kubeli is gesturing towards the referee. They give it to Tetas Chaparro. The big tight head prop. Snatched away by Kubeli. Oh, Hernandez trying to bosh off the pass from Hernandez, trying to slip through. Senatore. Running is Kubeli. Tackled by Conrad Smith. Now Guido Petty, the 20 year old lock. Good carry from him. Tackle only, fellas. Kubeli. He's just working the ball, one off the ruck. Building patiently. Now they look to go just a little wider, and it's Ajeza. Kubeli. A little wider now. Now the kick over the top from Kubeli. And, uh, oh, bouncing, but all battered down by Savia to Ben Smith. Gets away from the first. Now finds a bit of space, Ben Smith. He's taken high. Georgia. And you heard referee Wayne Barnes calling out Georgie. I think that's a reference to TMO George I. If Milner Scudder kicks away downfield. OK, ever on the shoulder, play on. And I think they'll be coming back to have a look at that tackle. In the meantime, Pumas trying to get the ball out of their own 22 and running into a bit of trouble here. Back feet, half a step. They've got it, though. They've decided that the high tackle wasn't a problem and the Pumas Make ground through their skipper, Agustin Trevi, and this time the penalty advantage goes to Argentina. Plenty of numbers away to the left here. Bosch moving it on to Crevy. That's the halfway line. They'll come back for the penalty. Well, there's an example there, Joel, of Hawkeye working to good effect. Oh, absolutely brilliantly. We heard the call Georgie, which is quite interesting. From Wayne Barnes, George Ayew made the call Captain, very quickly. Yeah. Creevy's carried it Your up Captain. strongly into a little Lots bit stop. of space. It's going to be the hooker who throws the ball in. And Richie McCaw may well have been the man penalised there for the ruck having formed. But just coming back to that, we saw a couple of times now, particularly right, the opening game, the TMO the very Players slow in terms of process. Yeah. This time round, just executed brilliantly by George Ayew and Wayne Barnes. Decision made, no need to go back. But you and can't touch the play we went. You can kick the ball. Good initiative too from Argentina. As long as the, there's people on their feet. Well, this is a, a huge crowd just while we're waiting for this injury break. Let's head down to sideline. Someone who's got one of the best seats in the house. Ollie Cox wants it like in amongst all these fans, Ollie. Tony, you're not wrong down here. It is electric. I know that, okay. that term's very uh, used a lot, but it really is. It's, it's an incredible atmosphere. The Argentinians have come out in numbers. And I think, uh, despite they might be uh, not the favourites to win this, they really do believe after last night's, uh, yesterday's game, of South Africa losing to Japan, sorry Joel, but they really do believe that this could be a... New Zealand, it is you've got electric. the line, it's okay. amazing down here, fantastic. You've got the line, you Thanks, take the line, Ollie. fellas, use the line. I wasn't going to mention it. Yeah, we're quite happy to mention it, I think, as South Africans. We just... Three, just move. Great camaraderie with the Japanese and the Argentinians providing the same hold support on, on, here this on. afternoon. Hold on. Yeah, no, I, I agree. That's why well, we're going to get it in again. The first penalty line, fellas. that the All Blacks Who's have conceded. Fellas? How many? Up to that point, six, six had gone okay. to the New Zealand side. So here's a chance. Creevy, will they take it into the drive? Going up high is Thomas Lavanini. Fernandez Lobby comes with it. Cabelli, nice little pass behind the back from Hernandez. But the ball went loose and it's been snapped up by Julian Sabia. Well, that's another penalty. It wasn't a knock-on, not for me, not clear. 
Good work at Sorry. the breakdown Didn't hear from Sorry. Juan Lock Martin on. Fernandez lobby. So the comms didn't come through, he called knock on, my fault. Oh no, in fact... It would have been a holding on. They've gone back to an That's earlier right. offence, a knock on by Argentina, and so it turns out no advantage. Come this side, OK, let's have a look. And so they'll take the scrum rather than the penalty to the Pumas that was subsequent to the knock-on. I'm going to come and have a look. Well, we spoke before really the game about Fernandez side. lobby maybe being really a little bit slower in engaged. that number Perfect. seven jersey. Had it not been the, for the little knock-on, yeah, and that's maybe where it came. Savio was very quick to snuffle it up and uh, try and counter-attack, but Balance, lobby not proving, fully engaged. showing some real great strength at the breakdown. There might Crouch. be a warning sign that New Zealand will have to ruck and clean out a little bit better. Fine. Set! Now Sanchez and Hernandez away to the left, defending for Argentina, just looking at their defensive structure, but... Really clear this side, in fact, really clear. It turns out to be another penalty to the All Blacks. Too Number low one. was the call Hinge. from Wayne Barnes. Get the elbow higher, he said to Michael Totally Sajatza. different to that first scrum. Well, you did really well there. Many questions asked about Ajetsa in the game against South Africa in Durban a month or so ago. That point, it makes it really clear. Maybe the eyes of the referee just focusing a little bit on his technique right now. Very low it was, so low in fact that Aaron Smith couldn't put the ball in. And when he did, he shoved it under the number eight's feet. So Dane Coles throws to the line out. Retallick wins it, they bring Savia in from the left wing, on to Nonu. Ball squirts out, Savia stayed in close contact, slips the pass away nicely to Whitelock. He's taken inside the 22, now to Carter, just holding it up, couldn't see a way to pass. And carried on by Reed. the offload to Jerome Kano. Ball's been lost, and it's another penalty. Offside it is this time. Argentina really are going to have to tighten up that discipline. One yellow card already, and Pablo Matera still has a minute or so left in the sin bin. Yeah, we had the rest that of the team are going to have to get ago, focused and improve on that I, element of the game. Dan Carter carrying it up. No real tackle made. Maybe not a tackle. Maybe no offside if Wayne Barnes looked at that again. Not for me. Well, that penalty count now at 7-1. And this is the third in very close range for Dan Carter. Maybe a little hard done by there, the Argentinians. Not even much of a tackle, let alone a, a ruck form. No offside line and maybe a tad unfortunate. Carter. Again, raises the flags and the All Blacks lead it by 9 to 0. New Zealand 9, Argentina 0. Penalty for New Zealand, kicked by number 10, Dan Carter. Oh, rock solid is Dan Carter the way he strikes the ball, and understandably, Argentina a little slow coming back to the halfway line. Winding down the clock, allowing a minute or two for Matera to get back on. Edging to get back in the action. Hernandez with the restart, fielded by McCaw. Sanchez it was giving chase. Thank you, thank you. And Aaron Smith. Not going to go into touch, and here's Juan Imhoff. First touch for him. And uh, oh, nice run. In fact, it was Senna Tori, the number eight, who was out on the left wing side of the field. Now Tetez Chaparro. There for Cubelli. Sanchez moves it on. Now they look to switch it back the other way. Nice footwork there from Cordero coming into the line. The left winger carried on by Tukulet. Creevy gets rid of it. Picked up on the bounce by Kubeli. McCaw makes the tackle. And another penalty advantage being played here by Wayne Barnes. They take it to the short side. Offside against Black. Tukulet. Now Creevy, good strong carry, that does 10 metres from the line here, the Pumas. 
Taken on by Sinatora. Almost to the line. That is. Referee has the that arm is. out. It's a try. It's a try. Get on Petty. Crashing over. And the Premier strike back. Just talk to the player who's offside for me. New Zealand 9, Argentina 1, Argentina 3, 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 the build-up of this try, a really good build-up, good team try, slick handling amongst the backs, good counter-attacking, couple of real good strong carries. We said before the game how influential the captain is. It's August and Creevy with a with a real good low leg drive, got them awfully close, and that man dived over. Well, Guido Petty is going to have to go to the sideline for a concussion check. He looks very dazed. But he took that chance so well, the 20-year-old. And now Sanchez has the opportunity to convert and close it up to two points. So for all the problems they've had conceding penalties, the Pumas have hit back well. Nicely struck. And it's 9-7 at Wembley. New Zealand 9, oh, Argentina will make his way 7 for the concussion test. For Argentina, really good pull up from the Argentine side. Creamy with a the carry, then the, the strong leg drive. New Zealand's defence just running out of gas there. You could see as Petty dived over, crashing into the knee of Daniel Carter. That's where the damage was done. So Carter chips the restart. Retallick giving chase, got a finger to it as well. Ball goes over the touchline. It'll be a scrum feed to the Pumas. And there is Guido Petty, say the youngest player to appear in a test match for Argentina in 24 years. He chose, he chose scrum. And so okay, they'll bring on Mariano Galarza, sure and he's battled Let's his way then. back from injury. Just a little left, please, Captain. Thank you. Lost his place in the starting nice 15 in the process, but here he is. Well, the Pumas, Joel, will be thrilled with that Showed us both because ones. they were having all sorts Thank of you. problems. And now, Crouch. after all that, they're just two points behind. Yeah, and it's a first, first try, obviously, vitally Set. important. Maybe a little for, unfortunate Thank to be you. behind. The last penalty that Dan Carter kicked was maybe not 100% correct. Oh, Pumas, they pride themselves on their scrummaging. They're trying to win a penalty here. This. And they get it. The Bahada, the famous Puma scrum. And that'll get the crowd going immediately. The Argentinian supporters are up and supporting their team vocally. Great strength. It's such a good weapon that the Pumas have. They spoke before the game that one of their key strategies would be the mall. And uh, they've become very adept at the mall. Kicking for touch now, they might well go to it. But the penalty coming from... The old traditional strength, the scrum. Say again, mate. Well, they call yeah, it the thanks. bahada. It literally means to go low, right whether there, you're mate. in a scrum or a driving mall. Seven. It's something that was Four such line, a feature Four of line. their play in 2007 all in, all in, in France, where they did so well to finish in third place. And now an opportunity to launch another attack. And straight away, Galaza has taken over the Five responsibility back. of winning line-out ball. Creevy has it in the back. Confidence now in the Pumas. But the ball's been lost. Bringing Santiago Cordero into play. Nonu behind the advantage line. And now they get it away to Carter. Kicks right, deep. over. Just hold. Not really yeah. looking for touch. Finding space. Tukolet is back. And he waits for it to sit up. Drops it onto the left foot and... Finds touch up beyond halfway. Good Not kicking now, game from both, both teams sides. there. Dan Carter with the, some good purchase on Thanks that. On Not you. kicking out, as you pointed out, Tony. I'm quite happy for Tukalet to have to kick it back. New Zealand put it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Of course. What's he stopped? Just waiting for a moment here. I think it's uh, 
Juan Martin Fernandez lob it. No worries. Just requiring some strapping. Playing his ninth match against the All Blacks. Okay, take your time. Take your time. There's no worries. He's had plenty of experience. Was the captain of the team until. Agustin Clevey was given the job, really Daniel Hawkart coming into the side and sensing that there was a bit of a split in the ranks. And unwittingly, not really his fault, Fernandez Lobby had found himself on, himself on one side of it. His, uh, Patricio Albacete on the other, and so Hawkart said, right, that's it, we'll change the captain. Albacete was gone. Creevy takes yeah, over, in, and suddenly it's all harmony in the Pumas. Yeah, it's amazing how much uh, leadership, Keep the, the difference leader, good leadership, five. strong leadership makes him. Saying, taking nothing away from Fernandez lobby, but Creevy has stepped up fantastically well as a player and as a captain. Kano wins the line out. Aaron Smith will put it high. Giving chases, Savia coming forward and taking it beautifully was Cordero, the little right winger. But another penalty against Fellas, the Boomers at ruck time. I've got no choice when you do that, and he's competing for the ball. A legal clean-out, oh, I think, is the yeah, call here. I agree. And this large contingent of Pumas fans, and I suspect some of the neutrals, starting to feel very aggrieved about the penalties. But you can see he just left his feet, went in low, no arms. No, 100% right. There's Wayne Barnes this time, and... No real option. Inside. The experience of Fernandez Lobby should have known better than that. Out. No arms. Collapsed over the ball. How many? Sealed it off. No Three chance four. for the competing player four. to get anywhere four. near it. And of course, rugby is all about being a contest. And it was a nothing sort of penalty. They weren't going to get any result from it. Now the All Blacks are on the 22 with a line out. Again, it's a shortened line out. Whitelock wins it. Carter waiting for it. On it goes to Retallick. They closed in on him very quickly. Savia again working close to the forwards. Cole's waiting for it. Fernandez lobby with the tackle. Savia again. This time moves it on to Nonu. Coming up at him with Sanchez, but he's managed to free it away to Kieran Reid. Determined run by Reed. Cordero made the tackle, but the All Blacks have possession and they slip the pass to Owen Franks in midfield. And now the Pumas have to defend again. Carter quickly on to Smith that through the hand, jolted away tackle. by one of the Pumas. So Carter has it, stepping. Finds Conrad Smith with the pass. Now straightening it is Kano. Senatore made the tackle. Smith delaying the pass. Oh, brilliantly scooped up by Milner Scudder. It's been knocked down by Cabelli, I think, knocked back. Perfectly legal. That's a great piece of play by the little halfback. Just as the All Blacks were threatening, and Cabelli it is who puts it into touch. A couple of warning signs for the Argentinian defence, though. That man there, well, we spoke before the game about how influential he wants to be, how quickly as the attacking force he can be, and that little blind pass almost paying dividends. New Zealand, they're going through the phases, finding a couple of gaps. Owen Franks with a well-timed run and some slick handling from the forwards. And this time, Galarza, trying to prove a point about not being in the starting 15, has got up and won a line out off the all-black throw. And here he is now with ball in hand. They'll need a, a rope to get him off the field. Making his presence felt. Big Mariano Galarza. Now the high kick. Away. Waiting for it is Milner Scudder. Quickly passing it away to Ben Smith. Stepping back in field. Nicely tackled. And it, it results in a penalty to the Pumas. A great tackle made by Hernandez. And now he undoes all the good work by knocking on. Just got a little rush there, the Pumas. Like, your man dropped the ball. Sensing Nothing a little bit of an opportunity way. to play quickly, tap and go. Ball. And get this lobby with the tap and go in the pass and not expecting it. It was Imhoff, in yeah, fact. It was yeah. Imhoff who was in from the left wing and yeah. hit him in the chest, went straight down, knock on. And an opportunity spurned. Okay, if uh, he had that over, he might have yeah. not tapped it, kicked it to touch, tried to set up that maul, which has been okay, such a great sorry. strength for this Puma side. side. To you, well, there's really no need for them to rush things. They're right in this contest. Just so we've got to check um, and having a quick look at foul play for a trip. Is trip that correct? correct? 
on George well, Shelby's This is face. a trip. This could be serious for someone. Wayne Barnes is heading off to the big screen to see if he can see what's happened. So we've got the quick tap penalty. Oh, it's Richie McCaw. Oh, he swung a leg out there, no question. And we're seeing the seven black there trip the player who takes a tap penalty, is that correct? Correct. OK, yes. so seven goes to the bin. Correct. Well, Richie McCaw, the all-black captain, is going to the sin bin. Are you giving a restart, please? Look at it again. Ten meters from the mark. There it is. Oh, he's, he's such an experienced player, as Richie okay, McCall. There's no doubt he stuck his leg out there and had some up. intent to stop Fernandez Lobby from taking the quick tap and go, okay. which is maybe why he chucked the pass a little bit harder and the consequences of the, of the chip not good. Well, what it's done is it has given Argentina a chance to take the lead. And another and like word George for George Ayo, who picked it up in the uh, OB van and brought it to the attention of referee Wayne Barnes. So, Nico Sanchez, who's landed his only attempt at goal so far this afternoon, the conversion of the petty try. To put the Pumas in front. struck by Nico Sanchez and Argentina lead the defending champions by 10 to 9. Very interesting to, the, to hear the crowd with a rousing little boo for Richie McCaw as he departed. The subsequent three points. Well, they've been fair value for their lead so far, Argentina. The only try of the game. So Carter kicks deep. Senatore Get sets out. it on the 22. Inside. And Creevy has it. Blacks will try and kick the ball down this end of the field, but Argentina, More! after falling behind 9-0, have come available. back impressively. Now Corbelli with the kick. And that's going to drift Inside. out Inside. over the touchline, up towards halfway. Good clearance from Kubeli, the scrum off. Not always easy to get good distance when you're kicking over the, the breakdown like that. Just a gut, yes. gut, gut, gut. And it was always felt that this 18. match here was going to hold the key to Paul C. 18, keep the gut. In this Nothing tournament. To Both teams very keen to win it. And as we approach half time, it's Argentina with the advantage. Coles with the throw, Reed with the claim, Carter onto Nonu, he runs hard at them, trying to bump off Sanchez, but the little fly half stands his ground. Nehi Milner scatter as the All Black wingers have done, coming in close, looking to penetrate around the fringes. Now carried on by Reed. Carter drops it off for Ben Smith. Badgett, Ball's been knocked tackle. away by one of the Pumas players. Tidied up by Whitelock. Carter. Well, they'll continue to Bunch try and over. attack. Milner Scudder here, looking to step through. Beat the first defender, Fernandez Lobby, and the All Blacks are on the front foot. Now the stab kicks through from Ben Smith. Tukolet carries it outside the 22 and jolted as he releases the ball. The referee says it was not forward, and so play carries on. Here's Bosch. Moves it back and field. Fernandez Lobby. Oh, Nico Sanchez. Just as things were opening up down the left-hand side, Drops the pass, and a great opportunity for the Pumas goes begging. Oh, looked a little bit out to Skelter in the middle of the field. Yeah, a couple of changing directions. Yeah. Pay dividends on the outside. A little back, friend, back pass from Hernandez. And yeah. well, here great. it came. Just legally. Out to the left hand side. Oh, it went left, three or four on one on the outside. And Sanchez pulled the ball with the opportunity of, for Imov to tear down okay, that left hand go, touch line, beckoning. Uh, now, one of the encouraging signs for the Pumas is that Juan Martin Hernandez, who missed the last engaged. tournament, the one of the discipline. stars of 2007, is just starting to find his touches again. El Mago, they call him, the magician. 
Crouch. The man down here at scrum time are the All Blacks. Richie McCoy, I think that's only the third yellow card in a 140 odd test match. His incredible record. And the All Blacks will look for a quick, a quick clean heel, it. and they've got it's it. Okay. Carter running onto it, dropping it off for Milner Scudder. And well aware of the threat that he poses. Reed making metres over the 22 he goes. Woodcock, away it goes to Franks, trying to spin an offload, gets it away to Kano, in turn finds Conrad Smith. He sets it just out from the 22. Numbers away to the right. Carter. Milner Scudder again in midfield. Now Nonu stepping, spinning, and breaking the first line. Tackle only. Carter taking it and then offloading it away to Retallick. Numbers building on the left for the All Blacks. No, don't touch it! Look like they're going to take it back to the right, though, and that's where Carter is. Milner Scudder holding him up. It's a Tetas Chaparro, but he manages to free it. Great strength. Now Reed drops the ball away to Sam Whitelock. 3 0 over it, but there it is again for Aaron Smith. Back through the legs to Carter. Ben Smith moving it wide. Kano quickly on. Conrad Smith making ground. 15 metres from the line. Ben Smith now, the delay. And the carry just a couple of metres away. Savia in there looking for it. Now Franks running hard onto it. Just short of numbers away to the right, the All Blacks, so they'll take it to the left and Kieran Reid. Left it behind, no, dropped it. Well, the crowd now are right behind oh, Argentina. The player now. And they're cheering every All Black mistake. Just lost forward, Kieran. That's Very good okay. build-up, dynamic build-up against the defence that are rushing up and taking the... The space super Watch tackle stop, from Cordero. He's made one or two little knock ons so far, but he I'm got up quickly. Tackle. The tackle was strong, dislodged Over. the ball from the hands of Kieran Reed. And a little bit of a let off for the Argentinians. Uh, if, if he's injured right where the scrum is done, there's not a lot so I can many do. Ways. They're absorbing a lot of pressure right now. And the All Blacks are man down, still going through the phases, showing some patience, dynamic attacking ability, good slick handling this from the forwards, and trying to free up. Milner Scudder on the outside once or twice, I think, with the intention of getting around the right-hand side. Yeah, who's talking? Everyone's talking. One sec. Who wants to talk to me? Anyone need to talk to me? OK. Yeah. Oh, Wayne Barnes just yeah. checking his cool. assistance there. I'm going to come there. this side and have a look. Creeby wants He's to talk to He's going to watch that him. side. Let's um, cut the comms down a little bit, fellas, unless you need to talk to me, please. Wayne Barnes just having trouble hearing himself think out there. Enough noise from the crowd, and there's a lot of chatter, he just thinks, on the comms. Just to the left. Yeah. I think what caught in there was the picture of Richie McCaw on the big screen, which prompted the Argentinian fans to get vocal again. Very small in-goal area. Wembley, obviously, a, a soccer pitch. And it might make clearance, the exit strategy, a little bit tougher for the Argentine side. Yes, you can see Nico Sanchez station Five. just a couple of meters inside the end goal let's try and put the shove on they wheel it but away comes senatori and kubeli slips the first tackle our chance here for the primus to break out fernandez took a lip away on the left to Imov. slips the pass back and field to took but they're almost up to halfway Kobeli, oh, just getting a little loose. But uh, tidying it up is Bosch. Tackle only. Oh, playing with so much confidence now, and a little overlap here on the right. The pass isn't a great one, but picked up on the bounce by Senatore. Still just inside their own half. Hernandez at first receiver, looking to put a teammate into space in centre field, and Imoff. Tetas Chaparro with a determined run. And they really have got some momentum now as Galarza makes another good run. He's been impressive. Hernandez swings it wide. The All Blacks having to defend again. Matera with the okay. run. Cleared out. Hernandez asking questions of the defence. Picked up by Galarza. No Not held in the tackle, so able to drive ahead. Covelli now, popping it back, a beautiful ball to Imov. Just taken around the ankles by 
by Smith. Ben Smith goes and looking for the turnover. And now Conrad Smith, the referee's arm goes out. This will be another yellow card. Clear right, clear hundred. And now it's the All Blacks who are in trouble. No, we keep going. Go for it all. And in trouble because of some brilliant attacking play from Martin Zinian. Superb little ball, him off. We said before the game, he sniffs out opportunity. The inside pass was on. Trying to look outside for support, not much there, and eventually the penalty came. But the build up Remember, to this got, passenger play got just the sublime. Got 60 seconds, so yeah, the All Blacks were going. down one man, they're now down two. But real patience, real good skill, some wonderful pickups. Matera picked one up off the floor. The passing, the inter passing between forwards, ensuring that the coaching team are very happy in the box. In the well, box. Stop, please. well, Conrad the Smith had no right to play that ball. I think he went in there knowing what the possible consequence, what the likely consequence was going to be. Richie McCaw is pacing the touchline. Okay, watch on, please, Mark. Well, the crowd are absolutely giving it to the All Blacks now. Sanchez extends the lead to 13 points to nine. The All Blacks penalised for some cynical play. And remain with only 14 players on the field. In fact, at the moment, it's 13. Still not time for McCaw to come back as we have a look at Conrad Smith's infraction. Almost instinctive it was, but completely illegal. Wayne Barnes' patience has run out. Well, already we've seen one massive upset in this tournament, and the crowd, I think, have decided they want another one. Yeah. Well, everyone well, loves the underdog, yeah, don't they? Me. This was never going to be uh, an easy game for New Zealand. Argentinian squad have uh, progressed enormously in the last couple of months. I mentioned it before, a great win over the Springboks in Durban. Really combative and competitive throughout the championship and showing what they made of here against one of the great New Zealand teams. It'll be match play, Darren, not this The All Blacks one. taking their time over the line-out. Just a matter of seconds before Richie McCaw comes back. Well, they've got 13 to six. on the field. Can they score? Two men down. That's one. Holding it in the back is Coles. They can't advance it initially. Now they start to edge forward. OK, OK. Now they have to get rid of it. Aaron Smith takes it away. Milner Scudder did well to hang on to that, had to stretch behind him. Well, it's a penalty. Six roll clear. Unnecessarily six. conceded, really. No, not you, number six. By the Pumas, it's Matera. Don't slow the ball. And so Dan Carter will get the opportunity here to close it back up to one point. Well, two men down. Aaron Smith looking for the blindside winger to try and get yeah, yeah, the All Blacks over the game line. And almost got out a stretch inside to get a hand on that and collected it very well indeed. Still managed to get a little bit of go forward. Well, again, it's one of those tough penalties. He's been penalised for not rolling away. It's not all that easy to do that. No. no and I think teams that have the ball, the attacking teams almost try and trap players there to win the penalty. Well, that's what they've so done. Far. It's going to earn them three points. And they'll be lucky to go in just a point behind, all things considered. And delighted to get some points on the ball on the board while they're down to 13 men. Well, McCaw's still watching from the touchline. As Carter attempts to close the score back up. And Dan Carter's fourth penalty brings the first half at Wembley to a close. The, inside, Tony, the All Blacks, with two men in the bin, have managed to close the score up to just a one-point advantage. But what a lovely comeback from the Pumas. Down by 9 to nil. They go in at the break, up by 13 points to 12. Your thoughts, Joel Stransky.
Well, good start from the All Blacks. Three penalties early on, got them uh, ahead on the scoreboard, but it was the Argentinians who showed some real good ball handling skills into, into passing backs and forwards and man managed to manufacture the first try of the game. Well rounded off by Petty. Got a bit of a bang on the head, needed a little concussion test, but certainly an Argentinian team that have maybe been inspired by the underdogs tag and the ability for underdogs to come to the fore in this Rugby World Cup so far. Well, Daniel Hawkard goes down to the changing room. His team in front, they've scored the only try of the first half here at Wembley. Guido Petty, the young lock, crashing over. And Argentina lead it 13 to 12. Here come the All Blacks. There'll be just 14 of them. Richie McCaw is back on. Conrad Smith still with some time to spend in the bin. So the All Blacks are back on the field. No sign yet of the Pumas. McCaw, who's had to sit and watch for the last 10 minutes of the first half, doing the talking. And now Agustin Crevy leads his side out 40 minutes away from probably the greatest result in his team's history. Coming out to the second half, still has the absolute gentlemanly ability to turn and shake hands very, very quickly with Kevin Mialami. There's a massive presence of Pumas fans here, and imagine a lot of the neutrals too backing the Pumas, as tends to happen. 13-12. So the second half will start with Juan Martin Hernandez, Richard, who's been living up to his name, El Mago, the magician, with some good deft handling yeah. in the first half. Okay. Watch on. Couple of good touches with the boot as well, chasing the All Blacks back. So Hernandez starts the second half, kicking deep down to Nonu, sliding in to take the catch and uh, getting away from the first defender as well. So Nonu setting it for Aaron Smith to kick high. Coming forward and taking it superbly was Senatore. He's been one of the best players on the field in the first 40. Low pass, beautifully picked up and moved on. Now Sanchez, sensing a gap, popping it back and field to Tukalet. And the fullback takes play inside the 22, steaming onto it as a Jezza. And straight away, the pressure goes on the All Blacks. Counter Rock is good. No. There for no. the Pumas. Just hold, fellas. Imoff coming in to feed. Out into centre field and Creevy. Put on the ground by Retallick. The Pumas, of course, still with a one-man advantage. Now the little chip kick through three, from but... Hernandez coming through and sliding down Offside, number to three. take the catch. The fair mark was Aaron Smith, but the All Blacks were offside, and the Pumas are going to get the first chance of points in the second half. And the fact that it was advantage is probably why Hernandez went for the very speculative little chip over the top. Well covered yeah, by Smith. Got your very boys, difficult like... to find space in to kick to kick into that up. close to the goal line. And the perfect start to the second half for the Pumas. Yeah, Once again, they go. found the ability to, to move Wembley. the ball wide, use the width of the field, combining backs and forwards. Good strong run from Marcus Ajessa. So, Nico Sanchez, who has yet to miss a kick, and he's not going to miss this one either. He's Almost in line with the right hand upright, so they'll restore that advantage they held just before the half time break. And Argentina with first points in the second half lead New Zealand, the defending champions, by 16 points to 12. Perfect start to the second half for the Pumas. Conrad Smith still in the sin bin. He's got about two minutes to go before he can restore the All Blacks to 15 men. 
Senatore, who has carried powerfully, getting back to his feet, and driving ahead. Quite happy to move the ball. And Creevy spinning tackle away. Only. McCaw making the tackle. Fine. As the tackle, he was able to play that. Wayne Barnes ducks Sorry, out of the way as the ball goes back to Hernandez. And he kicks down to Savia. Hasn't had too many opportunities. Ben Smith will put it high. Reed giving chase. Smith himself giving chase, but coming forward and taking it beautifully oh. for the Pumas was uh, Cordero. And now the chase is on. Brilliantly picked up though by Nehi Milner Scudder. Finds Nono in field. And maybe the All Blacks will try and counter. Reed with the straight run. Smith. Clearing it away to Carter. No, Carter decides to settle. Kicking deep. Hernandez. Inside. Goes back. He kicks down towards the All Black 22, where it's fielded by Milner Scudder. Now Carter. Sums up the options. Puts it high. They've been very good in the air, the Pumas. But this time, Milner Scudder's got up to it first. And he's batted it back on the All Black side. Whitelock. Stepping, taken on the 10 metre mark. Woodcock is there. Smith looking for quick ball. He's off his feet now. That's good. He's around the shoulders. Good job nice throwing three. that down the Pumas. But here's Reed ranging wide, popping it back and field to Kano, who drives ahead another push, metre. Push. Carter. Quick hands from Retallick to Woodcock, who looks to set it back for Franks to clear it. Nonu now stabbing the little kick through. Oh, it's been snatched up though. Beautifully done by Senatore. And now the kick from Kubeli and the All Blacks will have to double back. No, gone out on the full. Well, it was a great idea, Kubeli. But he just overcooked it. Anxious moments a little earlier as well as Milner Scudder scampered okay. back to collect the ball on the floor with a fly, Cordero on the far side getting down that touchline and again Kabeli looking for that space in behind the New Zealand wingers. One and... The All Blacks looking to make some changes and here's the first of them, Wyatt Crockett. Twelve. And Tony Woodcock it is who will leave the field. And Sonny Bill Williams is on as well. How many are going to be on? We'll, we'll find like out and we'll give you a try. Going off. All in. Looked a little bit static the last few minutes, my on him. Seven wonder if he hasn't nine. picked up a little bump. Watch off. And they've made the change with Conrad Smith still off the field. All Blacks win the line out, set it for the drive. And they've got this. Same well more, same more. Once. And caught. Frees it up to Smith. Sonny Bill Williams quickly into the action. Takes it to the 22. And Smith stretching in. And Kieran Reid looking for an inside angle there. Tackle only. Sonny Bill Williams again. Coming in close. Looking to free the pass away to Coles. And the All Blacks working their way inside the 22. McCaw now. Driven ahead by Whitelock. Now Kano. Coles over it. Reed away to the right. They give it to Reed. Going in low was Galarza, who's on for good. Petty's gone off. Good tackle made on Retallick. But the ball's still there for Aaron Smith. Fires it away to Coles. Turner's holding on defence. Back the other way it goes. McCord driven back in the tackle. No, no, seven, no. It's another roar from the crowd. New Black's being patient though. Reed pops it off to Sonny Bill Williams. Williams gets it. Oh, now the scum has dropped it with the line at his mercy. Well, immediately Sonny Bill Williams having a huge impact on this game. Couple of storming runs. And the All Blacks immediately a lot flatter in their approach. Sonny yeah. Ball over the game line oh, twice, got them on the front foot. And then that little backflip to Milner Scudden, who will be looking at that thinking, how on earth did I manage to not catch that and score? Had the hands up, was expecting it. Oh, eyes off the ball. The error, brilliant from Sonny Bull Williams. Yeah. yeah, they've optioned, they've taken the line. Uh, they've taken the scrum. Oh, 
try oh, line beckoning. Captain, How crucial will that be come the end of this game? I knew you had to make the decision. <laughs> Conrad Smith has yeah. made his way back on after having a little moment on the side there. I was, um, it's a scrum or a line. Well, Milner Scudder. I have to ask. Won't want that playing on his mind. <laughs> They'll have a scrum five metres from the line. Yeah. I think it's pretty good at the moment, but I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, strong taking. Just press again, Gus, you didn't come through. Yeah, thanks, yeah. So again, we look at that narrow end okay. goal. let's start forming then. Bloomers may well just try and work the ball a little bit further away from the goal line for the clearance. Watch on, please. Crouch! Well, they will look to get the right side up there. Fine! Look for Set! It does to just get a little bit of forward momentum. It's not happening for him at the moment. The free up is a bit of both. Senatori, you maybe come around the corner. The in goal area, awfully small. Here Fellas, at Wembley and that space has disappeared. Straight away. So, can we just come back on off heels? It's not fully engaged. Well, the All Blacks. You've got to accept it as well. For the first time in about 15 minutes, restored to a full complement. No fully engaged. Let's make sure there's some space. Let's have something come together. That's what they won't want to do, and what the Pumas will want to do space is force a scrum and penalty balance. here to make the exit that much easier. And also to gain a line out. Crouch. Binds. Set. Kano and Matira on the side of the scrum, and it goes from Kubeli. Alex trying to put some pressure on, and uh, doing so, but it's a penalty. Pumas get the result they wanted. Second row disintegrated. No, Illegal wheel. And relief for Daniel Porcard, as the Pumas now can clear with comfort. Such a great strength of this Pumas team. It's got the crowd back on the feet. Second row of the All Blacks disintegrating was the call from Wayne Barnes. And Senatori able to get around the corner had there not been a penalty awarded, but... Well, that's a bad mistake, is it? No. Oh, boy, in fact, it's turned out to be a great kick for a moment. It looked like it wasn't going to go into touch from Hernandez. But in the end, he has peeled off over 60 metres. Just give, I'll give you numbers as soon as I can get them. Oh, look at that, awfully close. Yeah, as soon as it stops. Absolutely but if brilliant it stop, goes backwards and stops, of course, yeah. Must have had his heart in his throat there for a brief second, but the end result is superb. Well, confirmation that the crowd of 89,000 is a record for a World Cup match, beating the old mark set in the final in Sydney in 2003. And at the moment, they are watching the defending champions really having to battle against this fired up my black. Pumas I'm side black. and the Pumas are going to get the line out a scrum here. feed here the All Blacks contested the line out but they knocked it on yeah of course you can what's the All Blacks still have to Pumas goal line floor, and that caused the collapse your second row did Little question there from what is stop, fellas? What was the reason for the penalty at the last scrum? Obviously trying to just correct it. it. Wasn't against him in the front row though, it was the second row that disintegrated. Well, I wouldn't mind a bit here that the Burmers will try and milk another scrum penalty. If they can do it in multiples of three from here on in, these people they're not going to complain. Well, the supporters in blue and white were awfully vocal. It's Twicken them on Friday night in the opening game, and they're going at it here again, and rightly so. Their team lead, and they've Bunch. just been fantastic so far. Can Bunch. they carry on? Can they continue for another 30 minutes or so? Boys! Set! Looks so solid, that Puma's scrum, doesn't it? Again, it's wheeling. And uh, Senatore disrupted at the boot. Touch, black ball. And that's great work from Aaron Smith. Great work from Owen Franks as well. It was he who asked the yeah, question about what the reason for the last penalty was. It was he who okay, got awesome. that blind, that tight head side up. Three. Well, another change being made. And Charlie um, Falmoina coming on for the 14. All Blacks and Bowden 14. Barrett. Owen Franks leaving the field. And, well, Milner Scudder is the man who leaves. 
So Ben Smith will go to the well right done. wing. Bowden Barrett to fullback. Line out. He's proven himself to be a player capable of changing uh, a game. Milner scud up well. He'll inside. rue that missed opportunity and just hope Use the line. Use that the line. his team can get over the line for, so he won't have to rue it for too long. Blue on the line. Black just come off it. from that opportunity, just come off not, yeah. uh, just come off not too much chance that ball Watch in hand and certainly no space to use his great counter-attacking ability. Well, the Pumas haven't given them any space. Not a thing in midfield. So it's... Coles with the throw, Kano Top coming five. to the front, and Smith will kick, Winger and Ben okay. Smith will yep. chase. So too will, will Sonny Bill Williams. Competition! High, not taking the ball cleanly with him off, and Sonny Bill Williams has got it. What an impact he's made. Calling for it is Crockett. They move it on through the hands. Barrett's first touch. No tackle. Not held in the tackle. The All Blacks get it to the 22. Savia coming in off the wing. Matira fighting for it. Almost had it too. Now Carter. Retallick with the step. Now they swing it back to the left. And oh, off quickly up in defence was Cordero. Disrupting New Zealand Inside. possession. And the Pumas hold out again. McCaw quickly up back to make up, the one. tackle on Creevy. Oh, keeping ball in hand now the mistakes made I think. Yes. Two knock-ons, two knock-ons. Well, first knock-on, I think, from the All Blacks, so the Pumas will get the scrum was, two feed. Knock -ons. Just brilliant defence from Santiago Cordero. Knock-on here, there's a knock-on about on a five on two on the outside there for New Zealand. Play. Read it well, well came in from the, almost the blind side, the side where the defender or the runner would not be looking. Bowen and Barrett caught unawares by his rush defence and spilled no it in the tackle. Did. Well, Cordero, a player with a reputation for some dazzling footwork, a good attacking play, but it's really his defence that's caught the eye here today. It's been brilliant. It's been, in fact, both Let's wingers go. have been a little out of sorts in terms of what they've achieved tonight. Imhoff has been brilliant at the breakdown, rucking and cleaning out at vital times. Defensively, this Argentinian backline have come up very quickly, shut the space down and made all the tackles. Crouch. Well, Charlie Farmoina now Set. tacking down at tight head against yes, Ajerza. Cool. He's put it in. Can they get it back? Ball's gone. Ball's gone. Now it comes out. Aaron Smith again making One recovered. a right nuisance of himself, but Cabelli has recovered well. Back it goes to Sanchez. And is the kick going to find touch? Well, it is, but a chance for a quick throw in here from. Julian Savia, no. Not now, two from both sides. Hey, OK, fellas. Again, good good line up. Yeah, well, Cordero, again, the man who denied him the opportunity. Yeah. Changes in the front row for New Zealand, paying dividends at the moment. Crocker and Fomina making a big difference. Well, that's Jose Mourinho. He'll be happy to see his team back to winning ways yesterday with a 2-0 victory over Arsenal. Well, the All Blacks go on to the attack again. Here's Ben Smith. Ducking under the initial tackle. There for Aaron Smith, just getting a little crowded as they come through, but it's all play Conrad on. Smith is there. Back no, it's all the blue. Smiths. Back to Aaron Smith. Big wide pass to Retallick to Sonny Bill Williams, looking to hold it up and offload. Charlie Farmawina is there. Smith will bring it back the other way. Flat ball to Conrad Smith. Anyone's. The Pumas have got it, and Creevy kicks ahead downfield. No great chase from the Pumas, though. Kano goes back and. Makes a big charge back to the 10-metre mark. Galaza making the tackle, and yeah, he'll be penalised there. Didn't release. Scramble defence and the uh, All Blacks pressure. No, Starting to pay dividends, one back. might say. Argentina just under a little bit of pressure now, and maybe not looking as comfortable in defence as they looked a little earlier. Well, Sonny Bill Three. Williams has made a big difference. Three. Massive difference. I think the big difference as well in the front row, the way they've scrummed, just looking around. Mind and Naul okay. okay. is also okay. looking rather fatigued, one might say. And as I've said it, he's Ball making his way off the field, a change happening. So no, no real surprise there. Big game for him this evening. Well, the All Blacks go for quick ball off the top. Carter. Pops it up to Sonny Bill Williams. This time they read the play. Smith, though, continues to move the ball wide of the ruck. And Jerome Kano makes Tackle good ground. Good. 
Cole's waiting for it now. Pops it back and field to Charlie Farmoina. All Blacks Push. inside the 22. Still looking for their first try. Crockett now. Colonel's gone down looking a bit sore, but Carter has it now. Barrett trying to slip through. So elusive. Driven to the ground in the end. But the All Blacks working their way towards the goal line. The carry that time from Whitelock. Smith calling for it on the right to Carter. Ten metres from the line. Patient build-up required here. McCaw gives it up to Crockett. And Crockett makes ground. The pick and go from McCaw. Arm goes out from Wayne Barnes. Yeah, got it. Ball comes clear. Ben Smith trying to wriggle around the side. Aaron Smith now. Ritalik. Oh, through the hands of Coles. They'll come back. Well, the Pumas are pleading here because they think that Dane Coles yeah, just hold has them made up, a hold high tackle. Up, and this could go against the All Blacks here. That was exactly the same as mine. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'll speak to both of them anyway. Okay, just oh, no, 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 one second. Yeah, what? Stop, one second. Both just listen one second. The first penalty is for you killing the ball on the wrong side, okay? Okay, just here. Um, we've now had too many penalties in this phase. If it continues, someone goes to the bin. Do you understand? Great. Um, there is a high tackle, but the first offence is here. And so we're sticking with the original effect. Well, Please change your call, uh, behavior. Just have a chat. Sometimes the foul players might overrule the initial decision. Well, the high tackle is a high tackle. I'm not sure it constitutes proper foul play, though, does it? And the only reason it would be overruled, according to the first offense, would be for foul play. So they're going to have a quick chat. First penalty will stand. Interesting. Richie McCaw asked if the offense here wasn't the same as his. And didn't deserve the yellow card immediately. Like yours, fellas. Wayne Barnes chose, chose to rather give the warning, and New Zealand are going to dunk it into touch and no go more for the penalties. ball in the trial. Well, no more penalties. Maybe they'll work one of those moves. Watch for McCaw. Yeah. He's the man who scored the try at Ellis Park. It caused such debate. Quickly in. But they set it for the drive at the line. Pumas hold it what? up, though. Drive the All Blacks back here. Now the All Blacks go it's ahead. The man. Not Coles has it. Black broke away. Aaron Smith. Done. Brilliant. <laughs> he's been waiting to pounce. The first time he's really no, taken no, no, the ball no, no, around no, no, the fringes. Puma's defence well and truly broken up, and he's away. cashed in. New Zealand back in front. Great oh, carry well, from Aaron Smith. Great ability as well. But sometimes it happens like this when you are on the front foot defensively and someone gets in behind you awfully hard to recover defensively. And that's exactly what happened. That New Zealand pack of forwards so dominant in trying to drive them all back. But when the All Blacks cleverly peel around the fringe, no defenders left. The step and go. He's nippy. He's fast. And he has sniffed out a little score for well, New Zealand and got them in the lead. Well, Thomas. Kubeli, who hasn't done a perfect thing wrong all It'd afternoon. You. Mind you, it would take some defending a step yeah. like that. Wow, almost no price. And, and, and no price because he had no support in and around him. One on one, Aaron Smith with that step of his, just unstoppable. And Carter to make it a three point lead, almost three quarters of the way through the game. They charge at him, but coolly converted by Dan Carter. 14 points for him, and the All Blacks finally have their first try in World Cup 2015, and it's this magical little halfback, Aaron Smith, who gets them over the line. And you mentioned Kubeli not having an option there. Numbers to the side as well. He was thinking about how he was possibly going to shift in defence, and the little step off the right foot, just too good. Well, have we seen another momentum change in this game? McCaw takes it down from the restart. And it drives hard at... Tackle. Fernandez lob it. Tried to hold him up. Smith will kick. Great work. Senatore waiting back. Tukulet in field. And he winds up for the high kick. 
Coming Keep forward coming. is McCaw. Senatore trying to time the back jump, got to it first, and it falls for Jerome Kano. Oh, almost intercepted, it has been intercepted. Kicked the head by Tukalip. Sanchez tearing after it, but getting to it first. Well, there are not many quicker on the field than Bowden Barrett. Dan Kaito was getting across there as well, but Ted Wright, Bowden Barrett with some real out-and-out -out pace. Got there quite easily in the end. The kick was the right idea. Just a little strong. Well, Juan Manuel Leguizamon, vastly experienced player, is okay, on a jersey number please. 20. Oh, Carter, long with the restart. Senatori, the number eight, is hobbling. And uh, here is Leguizamon, strong ball carrier. Fernandez trying to step his way through. The All Blacks may be in front, but this game is a long way from decided. But untidy, though, from the Pumas. Nicely rescued by Tukalet. Now Galaza moves it on. Leguizamon put on the ground. Off your feet now. It's OK. McCourt is looking for the turnover. Bailed out, though. Creevy. And uh, hit hard in the tackle by Jerome Kano. Has to roll out of there, does so. Keep coming this way, Six. Kubeli just looking for back someone to pass. Up. There's no one ready for the kick. So they'll have to keep it in hand. And uh, you can see the chance there for Crockett to turn it over. And now the kick from Aaron Smith. Awkward bounce at the back. Conrad Smith with the challenge on Kubeli in the air. Smith has to be careful. No, He's no, on a yellow card already. already. As I just said to them, let's not appeal for yellow cards. You're better than that. Well, he had no chance, really, of getting to the ball there. Okay. Just looking at it from that side. Still competed. No doubt he's taken the man in there. It's not another yellow card, but you're quite right. He's going to have to be awfully careful. Line's yours, mate, OK? Line's yours. Well, we are three quarters of the way through this game. New Zealand leading Argentina 19 to 6. Okay, what's not more carries, what more gain lines, more meters. And yet they've only just scored in the last few minutes to go ahead. It's been a courageous afternoon six? so far from the minute. It's going to be six man, fellas. It's going to be six man, and we're going to put That's a tribute to the defense of the Pumas. Sam Kane looking you come to on the come line, on. Please, and uh, Martin Landajo is already on. on. Cobelli leaves the field. Well, his father go. played against the All Blacks when they helped them to a draw in 1985. Can they finish the job off here at Rugby World Cup 2015? That's what. They don't have the boot of Hugo Porter to win it for them in this game. Eight stolen the ball. Oh, it's brilliantly stolen by Kieran Reid. Carter moves it on. Sonny Bill Williams has been causing real problems since coming on. Snapped up by Smith, away to Conrad Smith. Show of the ball, took it into contact, and they'll bring it back the other way. Carter moving it on. Sonny Bill Williams standing imperiously in the tackle. Kano, quick hands, and now Reid storming down the left wing side. Great tackle made by Senatore. But again, the, ball out. the All Blacks are on the front no foot. protecting it. Disrupted initially by the Pumas. We have a player on the ground. Ben Smith scoops up a low pass. Savia stepping, looking to power his way through. Big moments in the game here now. Conrad Smith, rather Aaron Smith rolls it out. Now Sonny Bill Williams. Just five metres from the line, New Zealand. Aaron Smith. Away to Carter. Reid floats one over the top. And it's gone forward. Ball still low. Well, the Pumas at the moment are just hanging on. They are desperately hanging on. Play There's on, the pass over on, the top. It on. was on to go over. Richie McCaw hanging around on the outside there. Would have had an easy run in. Quick throw in. Triple two, though, for Argentina. Senatore limping, maybe a bit of crap. Well, the Pumas have taken it quickly, but they're going to have to get back in defence now. Here's Ben Smith. Look to get on the outside and then free up some space for Dane Coles. Throws a 50-50 pass back in field. And uh, now Tukalet, who's a damaging runner, stepping. Sonny Bill Williams gets him, though. 
So Argentina have it through Leguizamon. Now, Hernandez. In fact, uh, it was Cordero. Creevy. He's been fantastic for the Pumas. Don't go in there! Now taken on by Galaza. He came on and for the try one. scorer and has put in a storming performance. Well, the Pumas with one or two players, though, looking in pretty bad shape at the moment. Now the All Blacks get a penalty at the breakdown. Ooh. Sanchez has had a bit of You mentioned the bad shape the there. This man's trying They've to, to cover an awful lot of ground. They've had to make a lot of tackles. Maybe running out of gas a little bit at the moment, the Pumas. They're under enormous pressure. Penalty away at the breakdown. and no, good, a, good attempt from stealing there okay. by Jerome Kano. I think uh, Cordero is starting to feel the pinch a bit too. Carter's kicking to touch a bit wobbly. More change stopped. being made. And on comes yeah. Sam Kane for the All Blacks. Yeah, who's what? And it looks like Kano is leaving the field. So the All Blacks, I think, now showing signs okay, no. that they're going to try and speed things up even more Eight. with two really out and out Eight open blue. side flankers on the field. Eight. Eight blue. Certainly in the last couple of minutes, we've seen the intensity, the urgency from Eight. the All Blacks lifted enormously no, they, they by the introduction the of Sonny okay. Bull the Williams. He's been superb yeah, since he's course. been on. No Game still very much in the balance. And looks like the Pumas are making a change. Yes, we'll just, just can't go on start. any longer. The line's the middle, fellas, so just come off it a little. Now, there's a bit of a problem here for the Pumas because. Uh, Okay, full line up. They've had to bring Seven, on man. Montoya, Just a hooker, down. to replace their Watch number off. eight because they're running out of reserves. Creevy will move to the loose forward trio, won't he? Oh, big pass from Smith away to Carter to Conrad Smith, turning it back and field to Ben Smith. It's the Smith show again. Aaron away to Carter, back and field to Whitelock, fighting for metres. Good counter ruck from the Pumas, but this time, well. Fernandez lobby. He knew he'd be caught. Here's Sonny Bell Williams. Back to Aaron Smith. Stepping. Trying to link up with Kane. Oh, Kane oh, oh, oh. It's Montoya who comes away with it for the Pumas. Well, that could have been enough to put it beyond that doubt. Is over. Now the kick away. And uh, a good clearance, too, from Tukulet. Aaron Smith once again brilliant. Collected oh, the little off okay. from Sonny Ball, who again has run the line. The Thought line. he might have had a go here. Yeah, yeah, advantage Tried over. Tried to just slip the pass in and not going to hand. Sam Kane just, just come line. on. First touch, not team. able to control it. Well, if he'd caught that, I think it would be all over, and I mean all over. Let's have it though. Carter takes it to the line. So the Pumas now disrupted by injury. Fighting his way forward. Clean out is improving. Conrad Smith trying to step through Conrad Smith. There it is for Aaron Smith. Tackle only. Pumas not offside. They crept up, but it was only a tackle. Now Carter moves it on. Retallic. Sabia quickly through the hands. Sonny Bell Williams sets it up. And Sam Kane this time makes no mistake. Here he goes, and well, it's a Pumas team who are, have been under siege for the last few minutes. They finally succumbed. Good timing of the pass from Sonny Ball Williams hey, once again. Round under the poles it? goes Kane. Just reward for some real good attacking play and pressure that is unsustainable for the defensive team. Minutes, yeah. well, once again, say, the catalyst 12. has been Sonny Bill Williams. Carter converts. But he has made a massive impact. Kane with the try. Just slick handling again. Backs and forwards, showing great skill and ability. The, all, the Pumas trying to push in from the outside in on the outside. Caught on short on numbers. 
The hand's too good, and Kane is in. Well, just that fraction of a delay from Sonny Bill Williams, enough to draw in Santiago Cordero, who's tackled everything that's come his way today. Fatigue may be the biggest enemy for the Pumas now. The restart, oh, taken well from McCaw. Well, he was taken in the air there, but not getting any sympathy from referee Wayne Barnes. Don't touch the Niner, don't touch him. Thank you, Wayne. Aaron Smith will put it high. Well, have the Pumas got anything left in the tank? Back off blue. Oh, dangerous here. Barrett's got it. No, it was knocked on by the All Blacks. Barrett thinks he scored. I think Barrett is the man who knocked it on in his attempt to maybe tap it up I and think reconnect it. it up south. Pumas almost getting in their own That's way. The Good contest one. from Ben Smith. Here comes the little knock on. Barrett to the tap head. forward, and, and then to ground goes more. the ball. Pretty similar to your kickoff. Yes, there was no knock on at the initial Just exchange, but definitely the second time. So the score remains at 26 yeah, points to 16. Yeah, wasn't Isn't it amazing how this All Black team are so composed under pressure. They looked for 50 odd minutes that they were in trouble. Yeah. Hung in there applied the pressure and, and uh, the last seven or eight minutes and I, I would guess for the last 10 or 12 of this game they look completely dominant and it's hard to believe they were behind earlier uh, I just think that all three players are going for the ball that's what it looked like to me but... TJ Terranara is on the field for Aaron Smith he scored that game changing try De La Fuente okay, is nice on okay, nice and for Argentina. And uh, it looks like Nico Sanchez has left the field, so Hernandez goes into the fly half position. Crouch! Watch on. And here's Martin Landajo. 45 Set. tests, but this is his first World Cup match. The All Blacks put the shove on at scrum time, but they get it away. Out into centre field and uh, big pass out wide to Tukalet. Put on the ground, crowd thought there might have been a high tackle there. Yeah, it did look a bit high. Well, Pumas absolutely have to be the next team to score. Creevy, he has done everything possible to get his team in position for an upset here. Picked up. Nicely taken there. I think that was uh, Lavanini. In fact, it's the other lot. off seven, they'll go in Galarza. there. As well, he's kicked and he's kicked out on the fold, and you really wonder why he kicked it all. Under, under pressure, trailing by 10 points. That's what's required, and, and they've kept the ball in hand. The Pumas have looked very stopped. dangerous indeed. Thanks. I think fatigue has set in. I think probably not nine mentally, it's, it's uh, maybe a step too far right now. Trailing by 10, so much heart and soul. Two and 15. In the first 55 minutes. And a couple of injuries, a couple of disruptions, and mentally they look like it's. The belief has gone. Oh, well, Lucas Gonzalez Amorosino. He's another brilliant runner. Comes on. Change both hookers are off. Creevy has gone. He's been magnificent. Tugolet has had to leave the field. Coles off for the All Blacks. And Kevin Mialamu in his fourth World Cup. Okay, watch on. The most capped front row forward in rugby history, playing in front of the biggest World Cup crowd in history. And finds the target. Whitelock's been very good at line-out time, and now the All Blacks will drive against this tiring Pumas pack. You feel that the sting has gone out of Argentina. They had a chance, they had a chance at history, but superior fitness, really, as much as anything, and composure when the numbers were down, has done the job what? for this all-black team. And they continue to march on. Yes! Kane has yes! it in the bank. Now they have to get rid of it. They give it to Carter. The kick out towards the wing. Well, it's been deflected. Conrad Smith fighting for it. But uh, it's been picked Sorry, up nicely on. by the heroic Cordero Santiago Cordero. Sorry, and he called for the mark. Cordero. Just brilliant. You could see him tearing across from the far yeah, side. The All Blacks were pouring through two or three of them, of looking to contest. It. Eventually, it was Conrad Smith who went up and looked for all money like he was going to get it. Cordero had another idea, though. 
executed just superbly. And had the presence of mind to call the mark. I thought he was kicking out to the wing. It was a, a nicely disguised kick from Carter we got blue towards the, the post. Good Dero. 21 years of age. Playing beyond his years. Another change for the All Blacks. Victor Vito is coming on. Brody Retallick will go off, so Vito. We have to pack down in the second row. Retallick, as always, all industry. All good. All industry, big man. Seven marks. Uses his weight well. You don't see too much of him, and that's always a good sign when you've got a working second row doing his job well. 15. Take it down the back of the line out, and uh, Kane taking it, tumbling, and to Ben Smith with a falling off tackles that they were making earlier in the game. Good quick hands from the All Blacks. And TJ Peronara rather rolling the pass out. Having to go back and repair the damage there was TJ Peronara. Kane flicks it up. And here is Vito, first touch for him. Peronara away to Ben Smith coming in at first receiver. Falmoina goes for a bit of a rumble. Tried to hold him up. Easier things to do than that. He's a big man. Numbers away to the left. Vito taking it into contact. Conrad Smith shaping one way, then going the other, then looking for someone to pop the pass off. Brilliant hands from Sam Whitelock. Carter carries it on. Great skill here from the men in black. Kane driving it ahead, calling for it. Sonny Bill Williams runs it to the line, frees the pass up to Ben Smith. He's taken just in from touch. Conrad Smith put on the ground, but they're 10 metres away from the line. Looking to finish the job off the All Blacks. Peronara. Falawina just held. Picks up the ball, first oh, moment. Great there. steal from De La Fuente. And Hernandez kicks away stop, stop, to relieve stop. some of the pressure, although this may no. not go into touch, it hasn't. Well, more defending to do for the Pumas. Bowden Barrett runs it back, wheeling in the tackle. Oh, Bosch taking an age to get back to his feet. They really are out to it here, the Pumas. Barrett staying in close. Reed running hard, looking for the offload. Well, here's a chance now for the Pumas. Booted ahead, downfield by Leguizamon. But Carter's back there. And tracking back in support was Bowden Barrett. Savia now. Oh, great tackle. The All Blacks going backwards, but maintaining possession through the hands of Kevin Mialamu. Gus, OK. Conrad Smith. Yeah. Now, Sonny Bill Williams. With a step and a run and a ruck and a pass from Peronara. And Carter thinks, enough, let's get out of here. All on side. Long run back for Juan Imoff. Incoming. Kick downfield from Gonzalez Amorosino, but Bowden Barrett's there to take it. And Peronara, made to Sonny Bill Williams. Well, you don't see him kick very often. And it's not a bad effort, just driving the Pumas back, and they're walking now. Sensible kick from Sonny Ball. Just calming things down a little bit. The they jabbing away inside the only 22, looking for that killer That's blow. Realised it wasn't going to come. As tired as the oh, Pumas' no. defence was, Carter settled it down. Sonny Ball settled it down further, and the Pumas will have to hold on, start from deep hold on. if they don't have any What's chance that? of winning this game. Just, right next. just a little What's delay here. Charlie Farmawina receiving some attention. And let's hear more from Ollie Cox, sideline. Okay? Thanks, Tony. Yeah, it's um, a little bit more relaxed here. I've got the, uh, the Kiwi sitting in front of me here, and uh, the winners sort of an hour on the clock. It's, the, it's um, outside. They're saying much to each like other, but outside. now they're coming off, they're high-fiving. A lot more relaxed down here, and the, uh, the crowd are reacting. It was all Argentina, Argentina, both on the field and off the yep. field. And now, uh, yeah, the All Blacks have done what they do best. And they're back, back in it. Back, the middle back, stages, back, Ollie, yes, absolutely belong to the Pumas. Here's Montoya with the throw. Taken back. And Lindajo, well, just looking a little ragged now. Oh, it's OK. Been touched by a black flag. Hernandez has to way, set it. Good work, 16. Put up 
a magnificent fight. But now the mistakes are coming late in the game as they try and chase down a 10-point deficit. The opportunity was there, but the bench has proven decisive for the All Blacks, Joel Stransky. And we thought it might be the case, didn't we? It's a, it's a powerful bench. We said that Sonny Bull would look to come on and make an impact. He's been superb. In fact, the whole bench, as they've made their way on, they've all had an influence of some sort. The All Blacks, just in the last 15 minutes, have just strangled the Argentinians. 21 offloads, massive number, meters gained. And the tackle stats as well, just looking through that, the Argentinians have missed 31 tackles now, made 122. And that really, a lot of that has come in the last 10 minutes, those missed tackles. Still, I'm sure the other contending Crouch. teams will have watched this game with great interest. Five. Set. Looking for weaknesses on this All Black side. They've had a magnificent record since the last World Cup. Now, TJ Pedernada, Williams, and uh, all nicely taken by Carter, floats it over the top, Ben Smith. Another great tackle made, that time by Gonzalez Amorosino. Gosh, they have tackled themselves to an absolute standstill here, the Pumas. And very close to an intercept here, which uh, well have made the last couple of minutes quite exciting, actually. The opportunity was on on the outside. Good getting across there from Amorosino. Solid tackle, Two solid meters, tackle, scramble defence, yeah, desperate defence, very effective. Ben Smith thought he may have a chance on the outside. The tackle just too good. And he's stuck to the task, didn't he? Into the line out it goes, taken down by Galarza. They're jammed up against their own goal line now. And really nothing for it but to clear. Stop! Not into touch Two. either from Hernandez, picked up by Ben okay, Smith. Thank you. Barrett, and he's made a different spot, a bit of a gap, and then drops it off to Julian Savi, a little one handed to Ben Smith. Farmawina managed to track back in support. And, uh, he busts out of a couple of tackles, the big prop, heaviest man in the All Blacks. Tackle Someone's lost a boot. Now the chance to go wide. Savi at Carter, holding it up. This time beyond Conrad Smith, picked up by Sonny Bill Williams. Conrad Smith is there, it's been knocked on. Didn't see the first one. Conrad Smith complaining, the official on the far side. JP Doyle, that he felt the knock on was from the Pumas. But, I mean, Thank Barnes. Thank you very much. I'll take that as me too. We'll give the scrum feed to Argentina. You're going to have to wait a second, though, because Charlie yeah, Farmer is going to have to get both start. his boots back on. A second or two. There probably won't be a line-out now, but I just thought I meant to. Just heard that uh, this man here, hey, Brady Metallic, said he was all in district. Well, get, get his boots on and we'll someone go. who was keen on the industrial yes. spirit yes. has appointed him man of the match. Interesting call. He's certainly done a lot of work in the engine room. I think the most influential player in this game, though, has been Sonny Bill Williams. I, I think the time nice he's last been last on would almost nice warrant scrum. him being man of the match since he's come on, he's made the difference. Yeah. But again, as I say, it's just it's that work and I guess the wearing down process that's gone on. The physicality of the battle up front has Watch been enormous in a man luck. Brody Retallick gets an awful amount of work done. Like Kieran Reid might have lost the toss and is packing down Watch a lot. He doesn't like it. Doesn't enjoy playing Crouch. in the second row, but and he came here with three specialist locks, Bones. the All Blacks. Set! Yeah. So Martin Landajo. The crowd urging the Pumas for one Station last red. effort. Backward. Cordero has been brilliant. Trying to step his way through the defensive line. Kane made the tackle. Landajo has it, though. Fernandez lobby just having a little difficulty getting rid of it. McCaw latching onto that. On the Thought board. he had the turnover, but the Pumas bring it away. Again, lovely touch there from Fernandez behind the back. And on the, the floor, penalty. The Thought Richie McCaw was a little unlucky at the last breakdown. Seemed to have hands on the ball. Yes. He might have to by Wayne Barnes, a 
be just a, a fizzy drink after the game just to see if they can become friends again because he uh, well yeah that looked like a penalty yeah that's a dead set penalty sent him to the Simbin and quite rightly early on the game for that that trip one of two yellow cards that the All Blacks have had in this game Argentina had one as well earlier Matera out it goes and uh, Galaza and along with Lavanini's done good work since coming on oh that's a bit of a hospital pass and Hernandez let it go otherwise I think he would have been nailed by Kieran Reid it's really battled to get out of their own half in the latter stages of the game Bosch swings it wide and nowhere for De La Fuente to go Here's Herrera. Lay on, good competition this for the time ball. it's a legitimate turnover. Wyatt Crockett picks it up for the All Blacks. He's shown good strength since coming on. Perinara with the kick. And rather weary Santiago Cordera has to track back again. He's a De La Fuente. Thanks, Trying to step his way out of trouble. In fact, uh, Gonzalo Zavala see oh. that, that is a hospital pass. Yeah, well, he doesn't deserve that. No, 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 no. Still, the Pumas try and fight their way out of their own territory. Little infield pass. And then uh, Le Guizamont <laughs> let it go through his fingertips. And that is the end of the game. Well, Argentina at halftime we're in with a chance of a boil over but a superior bench and cool heads under pressure in the second half have seen the all blacks home by 26 points to 16. courageous effort from the argentinians very strong for 60 minutes and the power and strength and experience as well as the bench of this all black team stayed calm stayed in control and in the last 20 minutes really dominated that man there sonny ball williams made a huge difference when he came on direct in his approach physical, ran some good lines, offloaded well, the bench were influential and the All Blacks have thoroughly deserved to come from behind and win this game this evening. Dan Carter, his penalty goals kept New Zealand in the game when the going got very tough. The Pumas were in front at the break. But in the second half, were only able to score once. They kicked a penalty to go ahead by 16 to 9 but then a couple of tries and the All Blacks have the win by 26 points to 16. Well, that's a lovely sign to great warriors of the game who meet for the last time perhaps maybe they could meet later on in the tournament who knows Kevin Mialamu and Agustin Krivi Strong performance from Argentina. Certainly, uh, their quarterfinal opponents will be looking at them thinking, well, it's going to be a tough quarterfinal should Argentina go through in the pool, which I'm sure they will. Well, they'll have a, a tough challenge in Gloucester on Friday. They, they take on a, a jubilant Georgia side who will certainly challenge them up front, Argentina, but there's no reason to think that they won't make it through to the knockout stages of this tournament. Leonardo Senatore, he was another who played outstandingly well today, but then felt the pinch, felt the heat as the game wore on. The All Blacks, well, they have a quick turnaround. They play Namibia at the Olympic Stadium on Thursday. And I'm sure the coaches will demand an improvement. I think the improvement will be about how they handle the pressure early on. I'm not sure if Namibia are capable of putting them under as much pressure as the Argentine team did. I think you'll be quite happy actually, Stephen Hansen. Tough loss this afternoon. Physical battle, out to war. The hardest game of the pool out of the way and, and, a, and a good win. Great well, touch this. The All Blacks, yes, paying tribute to this Puma side that has really stood up to the challenge here today. They had the All Blacks in some real bother in the first half. And that's now being acknowledged.
questions asked about the Argentine fitness. A number of players battled with cramp this afternoon. Well, that was certainly one of the work-ons I think that Daniel Hawkard felt when he came in to take over the side, that he had to improve their fitness. It has improved, but still it was a factor here today. And the quality of players coming off the bench. I think the, the Pumas had to go to their bench quite early on, and that, in the end, came back to haunt them a bit. Oh, Sam Kane, who came on and scored the try that clinched it in the end. Let one slip through his fingers, but wasn't going to let a second chance go begging. And there's the man of the match this afternoon, Brody Retallick, a real workhorse in the engine. Uh, time for some post-match reaction. Now, Tomas Cobelli is standing by. Yes, indeed, we have the Argentinian scrum half, Tomas Lubelli. Tomas, very, very proud of your guys, but just not enough today. Yeah, I think we we made a good, uh, a good game, good work. Uh, we knew that it was difficult for us to maintain uh, a high level in the 80 minutes. Uh, well, but they are the All Blacks, and well, uh, they they show it uh, tonight, uh, today. So we have to keep keep improving, and we we have we have some things to do uh, in this week. Tell us what was it like the atmosphere here with the Argentine support? Uh, we are very happy to be here and, and having uh, so much Argentinian public. It's. Uh, it's incredible for us. Uh, we, uh, in one moment, I, I thought I was in, in Buenos Aires. It is an incredible place to come play. You've got the most difficult game out of the way now. Moving on now. Yeah, uh, difficult game, uh, but we uh, show that we like uh, difficult uh, challenges. So uh, we come here to play the World Cup to compete until the end of the of the tournament, and we will do our best. All the best. Thank you very much. Okay, so, Tomas Cabelli, gallant member of this Puma side, Richie McCaw now standing by with Ollie Cox. We have indeed the winning captain, Richie McCaw. Richie, they uh, they pushed you there for quite a while, but you came out and got the result you're after. Eh? Well, absolutely. Uh, I guess that's uh, what you expect first up. Um, always going to be tough to play, and it took us a while to set a winter. But uh, I thought that second half uh, was a lot more clinical and. You know, we pitched it at the points we could have got, but uh, you know, we pitched out a bit of control. A bit like the uh, the crowd here were incredible, weren't they? They were you were like the uh, oh, magic place to play here at Wembley. You know, it's one of the great grounds to play at, and uh, have 90,000 uh, people screaming. Um, you know, that's what you play ga the game for. So uh, yeah, great place to play, and yeah, happy to get our get our campaign underway. I see you're just now relieved to be actually on the pitch now and playing. Yeah, well, it's been a while since our last game, and. You know, we've been over here for 10 days or so, so, you know, we're itching to get out there and get started. And uh, now we're underway, we can, I guess, assess where we're at, and, you know, we're going to have to make a lot of improvements, but uh, that's the nature of uh, rugby, I guess. Brilliant. Well, all the best and good luck for the rest of the queue. Thank you. Yeah. Well, he certainly earned the wrath of the Pumas fans, but his team came out on top, 26 to 16 in the end. Well, let's take a look at some of the highlights as the boot of Nico Sanchez in the second half extended that half-time lead and at this point Joel Stransky the All Blacks had a big job ahead of them but they finished strongly yeah they did and they were able to lift their game a little bit now a couple of substitutions Sonny Ball Williams is on at this point a lot more flat in the approach a lot more dynamic round the corner came the ball and Aaron Smith was just waiting to bounce. Kubeli looked to go wide, was beaten by the step inside and Smith pounced. Big turning point, powerful turning point for New Zealand. Well that put the All Blacks in front and from that point on the Pumas started to tie up and really struggled to go with them. It was Kubeli who missed the tackle, well you say missed, I mean he was stepped, a brilliant step very hard to defend that. Yeah, shortage of numbers on the outside. One eye, one eye looking wide, thinking about the shift and court watching a little bit. And then ball through the hands, speed. Sonny Bill Williams, who 
had a massive impact on this game with the scoring pass to Sam Payne, who'd shelled one moment earlier. And really, even though it was only a 10-point advantage, there was no coming back for the Pumas because by this stage they were fatiguing quite it, badly. It was the knockout blow, wasn't it? It was well held up by Sonny Ball, but I think by this point, the Pumas, where they had managed to get away with a little rush defence from the outside, cut the space and caught man and ball. On this occasion, the slick handling, the timing of the passing, the, the waiting and the buying of space by Kieran Reid, so vital, freed up Sonny Ball. His pass timing was perfect. Sam Kane had an easy run in. Well, one of the mantras of this all-black team is about building pressure, and build it they did. Argentina made a lot more tackles, and by the end, I think that missed tackle stat just really blew out in the last 10 or 15, didn't it, Joel? Yeah, it, was, it almost doubled in the last 10 minutes or so, and, uh, well, courageous, gallant effort, but a couple of injuries, I think a bit of fatigue settling in and a few slip tackles. 15 handling errors. They won't be happy about a lot of that under pressure.